And Eunice, can you walk us through the study design of Comet 001 and its findings following that? Okay, we started out, in fact, the very first patient treated with symptom in the entire world with real estate factory acute leukemia was treated here at Roswell Park. We did a dose escalation where we took the symptom and it's an oral once a day dose and we dose escalated it in patients that had an NMP1 mutant, NPM1 mutant, as well as a 2 a as well as any mutation in the relapse refractory setting. When we hit upon a dose limiting toxicity and that initial phase one dose escalation, we broke out into the validation cohorts, looking at two doses, 200 milligrams and 600 milligrams. The decision was made to move forward with NPM on mutant patients, being those were the majority of the patients that we were enrolling because of the higher incidence and because of side effects, including dose limiting differentiation syndrome, particularly in our KMT2A rearranged patients. We went into a dose expansion and subsequently a registrational enabling phase two study, which examined the efficacy and toxicity of ziptomenum 600 milligrams once a day in patients with relapse and refractory mutant and PM1 disease that was failed all other therapies. Uh, about third, a quarter to a third of these patients had failed prior allogeneic stem cell transplantation. Their median prior lines of therapy was three. Some of them had undergone up to seven prior rounds of therapy before enrolling in this trial.